Okay, I've got a project that I'm working on today. I recently put a receiver, just a regular box receiver on the front of my MX4800 with a uh, clevis, just to help tie, tie it down when I'm pulling it around on the trailer. And I also am going to set it up to put a, a winch on here so I can put a winch on the front and a winch on the back, you know, should I need it. Um, I've had this little 5,000 pound winch for quite some time. Haven't used it much, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on. And if I use it, and it looks like something that uh, I might want to uh, keep, I can just upgrade to a, a bigger winch. This bracket should hold a larger winch as well. So, and I've got some quick disconnect plugs that I'm going to put on all of these things. And uh, let's get started. Okay, what I've got here is a couple of quick disconnects. The connectors for inside, boots, solder. I picked up a couple lugs from uh, the auto parts, Napa auto parts, so I can hook to the battery. I've got my winch in here, and I'm also going to uh, take a set of jumper cables and put another set of these on the uh, jumper cable so I can use them on something else. Um, let me go ahead and get started on this, and with the help of Latimer, we will get this done. about that long. Save those for another piece. Strip back. Now, let me see, how much do we need? I'm gonna strip it back to right about there. Like I said, if this thing works out okay and, and I want to do a little more heavy pulling, I'll just upgrade the winch. I'd like to see what this little uh, ATV winch will do. I've just had so many times that I need it. I've only actually used it once. And uh, took it off my trailer where I had it mounted put a toolbox on and never put it back. Give a few twists right here. Let's check the depth. And I think that's pretty good. Okay. I'll have to slide this a little bit closer. barely want to just snug that down because we don't want to damage the clips. too much. The reason I wanted this, there's just so many times that uh, I've needed to pull something up on the trailer. myself out of getting stuck on 
some of these muddy mowing jobs. And it's just nice to have. You know, that little bit of extra help. Yeah, that'll work. Now we're going to get this all nice and hot. Going to melt the solder down in there. And see if we can do this. Yeah, that's hot enough. It's still taking some solder. Probably heat it up again to make sure we don't end up with a cold joint. Which we don't want to do that. Nice to have a little bit uh, larger gauge solder, but this is what I have. And the cup is just about full. We'll let that set a minute and uh, yeah it's starting to set up already we'll let that set a minute and then we'll do the next one okay it's been a few minutes so let me go ahead and just dip this in some water let's get the other one stripped back and get it ready Now I'm going to try something a little bit different on this one. I'm going to fill the cup up with solder first and see if that's a little easier. This works out better. This is the way I'll do the rest of them. 
maybe keep some of the heat off of that insulation. Okay, let's try this. Plug that in. Hope it's not too full that we have a overflow. Well, I think it made a little bit of a difference. And I can still feel the way the heat wants to chase up the end of the wire. Okay, it's been a minute. Let's see if we can uh, finish cooling this off. And then we'll move on to the other connectors. What we've got to do is get our positive and negative. Make sure we get this correct. And what we've got to do is we've got to get this little clip over that edge. And that's going to retain the uh, the connector. Just like that, you heard it click. Negative on the negative. And let's get this little clip here again on the positive. And there we go. Now all we need to do is make up the uh, make up the other ends. Okay, let me set this one aside. Okay, let's get started on the end that's going to go to the battery. So we're just going to repeat the same step. This one I am going to put some heat shrink on to uh, you know make it look, look a little better. This side for sure will be more permanent than the, uh, the one that's on the winch. The one that's on the winch, I have a feeling I'll probably end up getting a larger winch, so this is really just kind of a test. I think I kind of like uh, doing it like this a little better, a little more control. But however you do it, and it works for you, that's great. Okay, let me get my water over here.
Okay, now on to the ones that I'm going to use to connect to the battery. I slid on a little piece of heat shrink so I can cover that end up. It just really doesn't matter, but it'll just make it look a little better. Okay, let's cool that off. Now we're ready to uh, plug our ends in. We got a piece of heat shrink there. Okay, our negative goes on our negative. Remember, we've got to put our notch over this end of this clip. And it can be a bit of a pain. Great click. And that's our negative on our negative. And if you do mess up and get the wrong one on, you can get in there with a little screwdriver or a knife and push those down. And here's our positive. Hope you can see that. There it goes. And that clicks in. Sweet. Now this is our end for the uh, battery. Okay. Let me get these old terminals off. Huh. Kind of assumed that was going to happen. They've been on there for a long time. So, I brought some new ones. Or bought some new ones. Let me get my wire cutters and my knife. Now, we need to hook our negative up. And for the positive, I'm gonna lay a little rag down here so I don't hit that Hit that grounded surface. Nice. This one's coming apart.
Okay, we're gonna check, make sure this thing starts up. Then we're gonna try the winch out. get the winch we're gonna try it out and see how that thing works okay let's get some of this tied up at first I thought about mounting this outside but I've kind of rethought that with all the debris and stuff that I run run up across I just just didn't want to take a chance damaging this plug. So I'm gonna leave it coiled up in here and if I've got to use it, I'll just use it with the uh, hood open. I don't really have anything to winch, but uh, Let me just pop this tractor in neutral and see if it'll uh, pull us forward here. Okay, the last thing I did was I took my jumper cables installed a set of these uh, quick disconnects on that so I can use the winch uh, off of a truck, the MX-6000, and uh, just make it a little more versatile. 